manual priming for infusion bag or syringe set. For full instructions on the Avocet infusion pump, refer to the user manual found on our website. In this video, you will be shown how to manually prime when using an infusion bag or syringe set. Please follow infection prevention protocol and best practice specific to your clinical area. Manual priming for infusion bag or syringe set. You will require the following items. Administration set connected to a filled infusion bag or syringe. Extension set if using a syringe set. Non-vented cap. Do not use the administration set if it appears damaged in any way. If in doubt, contact your service provider or ETAN Medical. Do not prime the administration set when it is connected to the patient. The administration set has an anti-free flow valve. When the white release clip is in place, it keeps the valve open and allows for manual prime. When the white release clip is removed, it protects against accidental fluid flow. Begin by checking that the administration set is connected to the fluid reservoir of choice. Clamps are closed and the white clip is in place. If priming a syringe set, remove the end cap and connect an extension set. Open the clamp and remove the white release clip. When using an infusion bag, press and hold the valve to allow the infusion fluid to fill the line. Release the valve when all air is displaced and fluid has reached the end of the set. Close all clamps on the line. Connecting the administration set to the pump. To connect the administration set to the pump, remove the white clip and position the administration set underneath the pump. Gently push the cassette into the pump socket. You should hear two clicks indicating full engagement. Verify that it is securely attached. The line is now ready to be connected to the patient Alternatively, cap off with the non-vented stopper. For additional information and the safe use of the product, refer to the user manual found on our website.